Hello, welcome to an Urban Viking Hour review. Um, I've just had the worst beer of my life. Um, that French crap with the chestnut flavour. Oh, you know what? I thought the uh, the Ukrainian one I had, the Obolon Lager, was the worst, but that was that was an insult. That was a, a vile rape of the mouth. Um, oh, disgusting. What were they thinking when they made that? Um, maybe there's people out there who like it, but. Nah, not for me. Anyway, this next one is another one from Beers of Europe. Um, the reason I got it is because a friend of mine in work called Robert, who's from Brazil, has told me that it's a pretty popular company over in um, Portugal, which is another place that he lived. Um, however, I couldn't find the original Sagres, uh, but I've managed to find this one, which is Sagres Chocolate Preta. Now then, sounds interesting enough. Um, there's no real information on it. Um, no, I don't even think there's an ABV on this. Oh, there you go, 4.1%. So it's not going to be a heavily dominant sort of um, beer. It's just a brune. So anyway, let's just see where we go with it. Sagros. Apparently, they're really popular in Portugal. It's um, their sort of macro lager. So there you go, nice cap. Again, I'll be using my um, my lovely Harveston glass because this is the greatest 330 mil glass I have at the moment. Um, right, let's get it poured. Leave a little bit there for my nose. Okay, like I said, I'm not expecting much from this. Um, it's a nice dark colour, nice little head, but I'm not expecting it to taste like that chestnut shite. Um, so let's give it a nose. Wow, bloody hellfire. That is really strong. Um, it's really, really chocolatey. Um, like, like the sort of cheapy sort of chocolate you get. Uh, like the, the supermarket owns brand, you know, the, the supermarket's own brand, which I like. I really like that sort of. Um, Cheapy sort of chocolate. I don't know. I like the sort of the sweetness it's got. I also like the posh stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm getting that. I'm getting um, a very light sort of roasting, but I'm also getting a bit of a, a bit of um, like a balsamicy vinegary sort of um, smell as well. But that chocolate is so powerful. This is probably the most chocolatey smell I've ever had, uh, smelled in a beer. It's probably going to taste disgusting, but that nose, oh, it's really nice. Talk amongst yourself. <laughs> Sorry. You know what? I really do like that smell. One sec. I'm going to turn this off for a minute and have a good old sniff because I really do like it. Back again. <laughs> I'm also getting like um like a hazelnut in that as well. Oh, that nose. I really do like that. I really do like the nose on this. Um, regardless of the smell, it's probably going to taste like crap, but I'm going to rate it for the nose. Um, if it tastes like the nose, I'm going to be really happy. Cheers. Whoa, wow, that is sweet. <laughs> that is really sweet. Let me see the ingredients on it. There must be ingredients somewhere. Bloody hell. I've got to pause this for a second and get Lou to taste this. One sec. <laughs> yeah, she's the, she said the same thing. It's really sweet, but I really like it because I've got a sweet tooth. But... um. <laughs> Right, okay, let's give you the, um, the the taste notes on this. Wow, oh, it's so sweet. It's a sugar bomb, basically. Um, wow, it's so overpoweringly sweet. Um, they must actually put sugar in this. I'm going to have to look online. Um, or sweetener or something. Um, you taste it and it's just... Bags and bags of sugar, they're just throwing it and throwing it in your mouth. 
and underneath it there's a really nice little roasting sort of flavour which is just trying to get out but it's it's just being you know dominated by the sugar and it's just bang 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 and it's so sickly and sweet um, bloody hell that is the sweetest this is sweeter than drinking a bottle of coke or something like that oh. it's actually making me feel sick now I love the smell and then the first initial taste was really pleasant but then it's far too sweet this is wrong. This isn't. This isn't what beer should be. Um, it's got a nice burp. I'll oh, come on, soldier on, Dave. Come on. I'll probably end up being a diabetic by the end of this. Oh, oh. I can't do it. It's too sweet. Which is saying something for me because I do like my sweet stuff. I mean, I'll sit there and eat a bag of Haribo. It's, oh, I'm not going to keep repeating myself. If you like sweet beers and you like chocolate, cheap chocolate, get this. You'll love it. But if you're not a big fan of sweet things, don't go near this at all. Um, bloody hell. I'm going to have a look on Google later. and um, That smells really nice though. I really do like the smell on it, but the taste... It's far too sweet. Um, the nose, I'd give a six out of ten. The taste, I'd give a three because it's far too strong. So in a, in a, you know, an average between the four, I say four and a half out of ten. Um, oh god, it's like a cup of coffee, and someone's put about fifty sugars in it, and then added a bit of cocoa powder. You know, if you want to experience it, give it a go because you can get this on Beers of Europe, and it's really cheap. I think it's about. £1.30 or something like that. Just try it, just to see what it's, what you think of it. Um, it's another experience. Like the chestnut lager, which was disgusting. At least I tried it, and I know what it's like. So, Anyway, I think I'm going to go for a solid beer next time. I'm going to go for a Belgian or something. Um, I'm not having... I think my experiment in days are going to be over for a while. I can't even do the cheers, because it's so sweet. Cheers!